Hello my hair warriors, it's Aaron O'Brien here, your friendly neighborhood hairdresser. My hair is so long and I need to do something about it and that's cut it. So I wanna take it from this to this in just a matter of minutes. I'm gonna show you a very quick way to cut your hair and make it look absolutely fabulous. So what do you need to start before you do your haircut? Of course, you're gonna need your trusted hair piece from lordhair.com, a bit of water, a detangling spray, my favorite, obviously mine, is AOB Miracle Spray. A detangling brush, a pair of sharp scissors, and if you can get your hands on one, a texturizing scissors, and some grips that you can use just to hold the hair back if you need to. If you're not gonna be doing this on somebody else's hair, and you're all alone and you're doing it by yourself, get yourself a companion. You get it on Amazon. <laughs> this is Steve, my best friend. Mwah. It's always great to have something like this and a stand, and you know what, it is quite inexpensive, and you save yourself some dollar dollars over time when you're cutting your own hair pieces. To start off, you're gonna take your tape and you're gonna place it all around your hair system, just like I have here. Now make sure when you're placing your tape on your system that you make sure that you put it into the corners so when you do lift it with your comb, it does not detach the piece. Also, make sure you're placing some pieces in the center, again, for when you do lift. So we're gonna start removing the tape and stick it on Steve's head. Once all your tape is removed, it should look something like this. And now we're gonna place it on Steve's head. He's ready for his big change. Make sure that you put the front of the system just at the hairline of the head on your dummy or on the person you love. So you're gonna place it, fold it like this, taking the hair out of the way. You're gonna place it at the front, make sure everything is center. And then you're gonna roll the piece back onto Steve's head, keeping it as center as possible. Steve is ready, he feels gorgeous. He's ready for the red carpet, but not really until he gets his hair cut. Okay, so now we're ready for our next step and we are gonna take some water and spritz Steve right down. Just like he's in flash dance and he's having water poured all over his head. You're gonna add your miracle spray from AOB. And this is just gonna help you comb through and it makes your experience a lot easier having the detangling spray and the water while you're cutting it. She's all detangled. We're gonna make sure we part this right into the center or as close to center as possible. So you're gonna take from your nose, bring it up, straight down the middle. All right, if it needs a little bit more water at the root, just feel uh, free to spray more. And again, nothing has to be perfect. It's time to get cutting. We have Steve here turned to the side. Now you can see where your base starts here. We're gonna leave about one inch or one and a half inches and we're gonna follow the contour of the base and the head, and you're gonna cut along. Now you can see the way the base curves here. You're gonna follow that curve all the way around to the back of the head. So we're still following the curve, and this just makes everything a lot faster when you start off with this. And this is where the hair kind of blends into the sides of your own. So you can see we have a little dip in the curve, and again, following what we were doing before. Once we have our sides cut, we're going to take it to the front. Now for the hairstyle that I have, you're going to keep just at the bridge of the nose. That's our length that we're going to work with. Because this hair doesn't grow, basically cut less. And if you need to cut more afterwards, you can. So once you have this, you're going to follow around and connect it in to your sides, curving around at an angle. On the other side, we just have to do a little tweaking. Just take off those stray hairs. Once you finish your whole line around the sides, back and front, you're just gonna spritz the hair down again. Make sure that you do keep the, the piece nice and wet when you're cutting. It will give you a little bit more control and um, you can see what you're doing while you're cutting it and you can cut straighter lines. So we're gonna start our layer at the back. You're going to take the hair up, raise it diagonally, up like this, and you're just gonna cut the edges off and round them off. You can see the way my fingers are slightly rounded here. You're gonna follow my fingers, the curvature of my fingers and cut the top of the hair. And you're gonna work your way doing this the whole way around, taking it up at a diagonal and then just cutting off the edge and following the curve of the finger. As you're getting closer to the front, you're not going straight up, you're going up and slightly back. Again, we wanna keep some length so you get that swoop at the front of your hair, the sexy swoop. That's what my husband calls it. He doesn't really, I call it the sexy swoop. Okay, so that's our layers created. It looks beautiful, but we need to texturize. There's a lot of weight in this hair, and for blending, texturizing is super important, 
and that's why these scissors are a godsend when it comes to um, blending out your hair. You're gonna take one of your clips and you're gonna pin it out of the way. Each of these scissors take out a certain amount of hair. So just make sure to do a little test strand to see how much hair your scissors are gonna take because you'll have to go lighter with them if needs be or like this one that takes out very little hair, I can kind of be a little bit more aggressive. So you're just gonna pull your section out and you're gonna close your scissors. You can see it just takes that bit of hair out. And always make sure you only texturize on the ends. Don't go crazy texturizing hair at the root. It can damage the hair. It can make the hair look choppy. It can make it look like it's missing some spots. And that's definitely not what we want. Now that everything is texturized, we're ready to style. I'm gonna take Steven away into the back room. So now that we're finished, you can see we are absolute twins. It's me and Steve, we're taking over the town. So this is exactly how you recreate the look that I have and Steve seems very happy about it. Thank you for watching my video and thank you for watching Steve. He thoroughly enjoyed it. Also, a big thank you to lordhair.com who sponsored this video and they have the best systems on the market. You can check out and use my promo code Aaron20 if you want to get $20 off. Don't forget to click, subscribe, stay tuned, like, watch me. See you soon.